this video is actually another video that is kind of out there, but it's for a good cause. I recently watched a subscriber's, well, a subscriber's video of mine, and I was really touched in a way by her devotion to her channel, even in the most desperate time for her to kind of work on herself, but at the same time, I can see why distracting the self in this particular instance would be, I guess, more satisfying. And this brings me to just bringing up the awareness of depression, that it is a problem, and that awareness about it is better than just sitting around and trying to assume that it's not really a thing. Um, we often find ourselves in the most difficult times, and sometimes we don't know how to handle those you know, those moments, and depression starts taking over and attacking the mind, the brain, making all these insecure thoughts become a reality for a person, almost choking them and suffocating them in ways that pretty much only a person with depression knows about. And I can honestly say that I understand. Um, currently, at least for the time being, I'm actually on a temporary disability for uh, mental illness. So I really relate to this person in a sense that struggling through depression is very hard. Of course, I experience way more than just depression or anxiety, but I feel like it needs more attention sometimes than maybe we give it. So a subscriber friend of mine is suffering really bad and I felt like asking you guys, even though I don't have many followers and you know, that doesn't bother me. I just like to make videos because it's fun and the people watching enjoy it and want me to continue making videos. So, but just in general, I want to reach out to this person and I feel like as a community, we should do that. So how can we do this? Well. I don't know the perfect way to go about this. I will never be a perfect person. But I really, really want to beg you, if you have done nothing else, even if you've only watched a couple of videos, liked a few videos, uh, maybe shared one, but don't watch every single video or something, you know, I'm not wanting to ask too much, but I really, really wish that you guys would check out her channel. I'm going to have some... Um, information at the end of the video in an in-card annotation type thing and I really want you guys to go check out her channel and check out her latest video update on life let's go to her channel flood it with love and just courage to her to get through this difficult time and just try to post a nice comment or even she was trying to come up with content in this very extraneous time I mean, if this was happening to me, I would probably be in the same boat, and I would be very, very depressed. And, you know, fam close family members in this type of condition can sometimes be overwhelming, and you might feel alone, but you're not. And that's one thing that I want us to try to do. Let's go to her channel, let's go to that video, let's post some positivity for her, give her some content to, you know, focus on, and just try to help her get through this moment of despair, really. So, depression is a very hard thing to conquer. And a lot of the time when a person suffers from depression, you can tell them that they will be okay or that they are fine. And that's actually not really helpful. What they really want is someone to listen and know that they are not alone. Because a lot of people who are depressed do feel like they're alone, even though they are not. And it's just hard to overcome the mentality of something so strong that is pulling you down. It's almost like 
gravity is pulling your body down but it's more like your heart and your mind and it just gets so pressurized you just almost want to explode and I don't know I mean there are hotlines but I'm just gonna be honest as a, as me I would never want to call a hotline so I mean I can understand you know if you really feel like you don't have anybody try reaching out to some of your friends try reaching out to family members first and if you don't really have anybody do try those hotlines therapists and doctors recommend them for a reason and you know if you feel like that it's going out of control and you do need medicine or you do need to go to therapy I encourage you to go because I'm currently in therapy and I honestly they honestly are there trying to help you and you if you decide to do this you really need to be careful with who you choose as a therapist you need to be able to open up to this person and you also need to be able to um, interact with them in a positive way and if things aren't moving in a positive direction and you feel like maybe this person doesn't match you maybe you just need to try someone else or get a second opinion but try not to give up or throw in the towel and I know that's hard because me saying this I'm actually being kind of hypocritical because there are many moments when I have thought you know I'm way too much in debt I'm I can barely handle to work and I just want to give it all up you know just throw it out the window or whatever I don't even care but I do care and I want to make a special reaction and a note to you cheesecake this is for you from us at the Celestial Guardian Alliance channel I want you to know that you are not alone and that there are many people here that are willing to listen and talk to you including myself and that there is nothing wrong with taking medicine for a condition I was explained to it as if you go to an allergy doctor or if you just go to the doctor and you have like a bunch of allergy conditions but you know they can give you medicine but maybe it's not helping you the best well in that instance they might send you to an allergy specialist so there's nothing that is you know really wrong with it in that sense there's just a really big stigmatism on mental health issues what you have to realize is that it is a lot of the time a chemical imbalance of the brain and it just you just need to work through it with medication and therapy or maybe there's other ways to work through it it's kind of dependent on the person I've heard of way you know many treatments and different ways to explore what is best for you but <clears throat> One thing that I really want to point out is there is just don't be ashamed that this is happening and don't be like disappointed in yourself. You just need to accept that it's okay. I'm experiencing a hard time in my life and that I'm not alone and maybe I do need a little bit of treatment, but that's nothing to be ashamed of. And you were talking about some things with your mom it's very possible in this particular time that she's actually having a hard time too and maybe she just doesn't know how to reach out to you but keep in mind she did give you that kitten and I have to say that kitten is adorable I would love to see that kitten in future videos because she is or he I can't remember so cute and noodles is a really nice name so I didn't want to just write to you I wanted to give you a video reaction showing you and trying to tell you that you know sometimes in the hardest times in our life we do have to kind of step back and just you know accept ourselves and try our best to get through it in the way that we can for ourselves and sometimes that's really hard to, to discover and understand how to get through it because each individual is very different and what works for one person may not work for the other person but I just want you to know 
that if you need anyone to talk to or if you feel like there is no one out there that I'm willing to listen, I'm willing to try to help you. And I mean, I'm no doctor and I'm not going to be able to like, you know, do what a doctor or therapist could do for you, but I can definitely be there as a person to listen and give you advice. And maybe, you know, that might be enough, but if not, you know, look at other ways to get help for yourself. Don't just keep sinking lower and lower. But I do really hope that your dad gets to feeling better because I have a feeling that if anybody in your shoes would feel the same way. And this is some really heartfelt comments. And I've never done this before. But I do want to start doing that. I do want to start doing this. This could be very helpful to people. And, you know, I don't really want to shower this with a giveaway. So instead, in the comment section below, I would like to know your thoughts on depression. And Cheesecake, if you have any questions, leave us a comment below. If you want to talk to us, leave us a comment below and maybe we can do some kind of group chat type thing together and just help us get through this time and communicate with each other on a deep level. But until next time, I want you guys to have a great week. Keep your heads high and happy treasure hunting.